This is Nick with LogosByNick.com, and in this tutorial I'll be demonstrating how you can feather the edges of a selection using Affinity Photo. So the first thing you want to do is obviously open up your photo, as I've done here. Now whenever you open up a photo with Affinity Photo, I think by default the layer is locked, and you will know that it's locked by this little lock icon over here. So what, the first thing we want to do is just remove that by clicking on it, and then right-click the layer and go to rasterize. This is what's going to allow us to make transformations to this image. So what I'm going to do now is create a selection on the canvas here. Now you can create any kind of selection you'd like, whether it be with the selection brush tool, with the flood select tool. What I'm going to use over here is one of the marquee tools. I'm going to hold a click over this and I'm going to use an elliptical marquee. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click and drag like that to create an elliptical selection like that. And if you want to make this a perfect circle, you can just hold shift on the keyboard and it'll make it perfectly round like that. But for this image, to accommodate the subjects in this image, I'm going to use more of an oval shape like that. And afterwards, you can just click and drag the selection like that to move it. I want to place it. I want to frame the faces of the subjects here. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to click on this button that says refine up here. And when you click on refine, you're going to get a preview of the selection that you have created here with this red overlay mask. Now, one of the options in the Refine Selection menu, if you come down here to where it says Feather, you see you have this ability to feather the edges. I'm going to bring this all the way up like that. Now, the, the amount that you should feather your selection depends on the size of your image. My image here is really big. It's like 2,000 pixels wide, so I'm just going to bring this all the way up like that. If you're using a smaller image, you may want to start out with a, a lower value like that and see how it works. But the preview will show you, it will give you a pretty good idea of uh, just how soft the selection will become based on your input here. And once you're done, click Apply. Now we have a feathered selection. So what I'm going to do now is, since I want to delete the background out of this image and not the actual selection, I'm going to invert the selection so that the background is selected and the, and the foreground here isn't. So I'll come up here to where it says Select, and I will go to Invert Pixel Selection. And now I could press Delete on my keyboard. And then we can remove the selection by going to Select, Deselect. And as you can see, we have created a selection with feathered edges around this photo like that. So that is how you can go about working with uh, feathered edges of a selection in Affinity Photo. If you have any questions, just leave a comment below. And as always, thanks for watching.